Um, the asset declaration uh, well, you know, precedes a motion from the House, a resolution uh, of the House. And being a resolution of the House, it is an order of the House. So anyone who defies an order of the House technically commits contempt of the House. And there are penalties attached to it. Eh? So we'll, we'll wait and see. Yeah? Uh, would you hmm? extend the time for them to declare Did anybody again? request it? Yeah, yes, we have three from GPS who have requested for extension of time. Uh, I've allowed that. Yeah, and The rest have not even asked for anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you so have allowed the three person who requested? On a case by case basis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if, they, if they feel that uh, they need a bit more time, yeah? for some reason or other, uh, sure, why not? We're not terribly... You know, unkind, you know? Um, but for those who do not want uh, to de declare the assets, uh, that's something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, one yeah. more, uh, <laughs> because there is some um, MP, for example, Edmund Santra, uh, complained that they face some safety problem because of asset declaration. So would you suggest to change the system that maybe we don't want to review all the assets, we just re review the agreement or something? With um, due respect to YB, Santra, there is no concrete evidence yeah, here in Malaysia or anywhere else. Yeah. Um, you'll be surprised how many people read the asset declaration. Yeah. But it is put in for a purpose. So that transparency. Yeah, it's transparent, so without corruption, because MPs hold very important positions in society. So you see someone who's earning you know, a certain amount of ringgit suddenly become very, very rich. While she is an MP, there must be a justification for it. <laughs> but if they face some safety problem, then how? No, there isn't any. Can you name one instance? No. 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 We, we don't report all the particulars. No, MACC gives you the broad figures, that's about it. Some people are rich, some people are very poor, and some people are in the middle, they were like me, I'm very poor and all that. <laughs> so, <laughs> coming is much richer. So, what? There's nothing to it. The public must require an asset declaration. It's a standard practice throughout the Commonwealth, at least. Yeah? Especially when we are having our select committees. Yeah? They can be very influential. So, what's well, the harm of declaring your assets? I don't understand what the problem is. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah, I got it.